Yeah, we were really excited about our third win against Wilmington. And on Monday, we were expecting to play Sunday, but we played on Monday. We came out at halftime up 1-0. We were really excited, but I don't know what happened. We just broke down. Playing at home is always good because we always want to defend our home place. Playing Charlotte, we get another extra day to practice, so that's good for us. But we're excited to play Charlotte. They're a good team, but we're ready. This weekend was a good opportunity for us to play two really good teams on the road. Uh, Friday, I thought we came out and really set the tone in that match. We scored two goals uh, fairly early and uh, really put pressure on UNCW. They kind of settled down, and, and in the second half, they put a lot of pressure on us, and I was happy to see us kind of withstand their uh, their barrage and, and, and wind up getting results. So it was a great result for us on Friday. Um, Sunday came out to the game, and um, the first match got rain delayed, so we waited about five hours to uh, try to get our match in, and we warmed up and got it on the field, and four minutes in, got a lightning delay, and they called the game. Um, so it's tough to deal with, but I mean, it, you know, it's like you tell the girls, it's part of it. You know, you play an outdoor sport, and weather, referees, all that are part of the game. You have to deal with it. But it definitely, uh, it definitely played a part. We had a bus breakdown. We had to get a new bus. We had to switch hotels. Uh, and then we had to play the game on Monday at uh, 4 o'clock. So it, it definitely played a, played a part in it. But take nothing away from ECU. I thought the game was very uh, highly contested, very physical, a uh, very good game. We came out of the gates again pretty, pretty strong and scored a goal uh, midway through the first half. And it was a really back and forth type day. And uh, like I said, very physical. And um, we uh, were unfortunate at the end. And both goals we gave up, I was kind of disappointed in. Uh, the first goal was on a set piece that uh, we expect our goalkeepers to make, uh, to be honest. And uh, so that was a bit of a letdown. And then either of the write-ups talked about it, but the, the goal in overtime was actually an own goal. That uh, was a cross served in, and Chrissy White went to clear and went off her foot in the goal. So those two goals were a bit unfortunate, but like I said, not taking anything away from ECU. They played really well and, and really deserved the result, to be honest. It's nice to be at home for sure um, after being on the road for the last three. Um, all three of the teams we have coming into Cullowee in the next uh, next couple weeks are all really, really strong programs. And, and we did this schedule on purpose to really test us and hopefully prepare us for the conference. But all, all three of these teams that are coming in are going to test us um, in, in different ways. Uh, Charlotte's a very good program. Uh, I believe right now they're 3-0. and They play Virginia Tech on Friday. And um, they'll come in here on, on Sunday and give us all we can handle. So, But we're excited to be here. Uh, it's kind of an emphasis for us to do better at home this year. Not that we did terrible in the past, but we really feel like we need to be better here, especially in conference, to, to achieve what we want to achieve as a team. So we're excited. We're excited to be home.